the Kenya Education Management Institute has established 112 ESD model centers across the country since 2018. This is in response to the call to implement the ESD policy in the education sector in all learning institutions in the country. Africa for SDGs and KEMI has put in place initiatives to provide a renewed education agenda that is holistic and inspirational, leaving no youth behind to enhance the ESD mentorship and coaching program. Following the excellent work going on in the ESD model centers across the country, Kenya Education Management Institute and Africa for SDGs has planned the ESD Awards for 2022 to reward students and schools for outstanding practices in local communities and schools who have challenged themselves to transform the world. The awards is a result of a continuous engagement of students in learning institutions on ESD and SDGs realization in the spirit of leaving no youth behind. The learners were having low self-esteem but once we started the program, their service team started racing up. Mm -hmm. Even the people who are coming to see what we do here, they were very happy to see them doing the work. The learners have been improving day by day. Their parents are appreciating, the community around is appreciating after seeing the work they are doing. Even them themselves, the learners, they are seeing their future bright. The learners have come up with ideas, they have seen a, a gap or a challenge which is within their school, in their community, and they have taken it up. Through these ESG projects in the school, I've noted a lot of uh, collaboration uh, among the students, unity, uh, the idea of passing on the knowledge which they have to others and even to their community out there. In briquette making, we are conserving paper waste because we realized that we produce a lot of paper waste in our school. So we decided to conserve it and make it into fuel, which we use in our school kitchen. What inspires me is when I draw, I actually feel free. Like uh, when I'm angry, if I draw this picture, I actually get free and happy. I get very excited when I mentor these young girls and they go to university and they start their own businesses. It gives me a lot of joy. We use the 2,000 that people pay for the admission to buy the, the machines that we use. So technically it's kind of like a capital investment. It also breaks the monotony of like school is just reading and everything. It also brings the school to life. As you can see, we are explained to about the accessories. We have programs for ESD that are tree planting at least once a term to maybe replace the ones that have been cut down. We also have bicycles riding to school. So most of our, half our students use bicycles to come to school. So that saves the environment from emissions, from vehicles and all that. Our fish pond, as principal has mentioned, feeds our teachers at least twice a term. We have cycles of maturity of fish. Currently we have around 170 fish. Tilapia mixed with catfish. And we started it and produced a lot of fish. First there were 200, then after some times we had to harvest so that we can feed on it. All the drums, eh? we cut into two, they become uh, dustbins. So if you walk around, you will see them at uh, strategic places where the boys can easily uh, dispose any, any, any waste that will be there. So our compound looks a little bit uh, organized than before ESD came in. The project has been very good for the students. It helps them to develop several skills which can help them even after school. Many of them have been able to go out and they're able to make the items which we are making here in school. They're able to sell them and even support themselves at the colleges where they have gone to. They're also able to help their parents when they sell some of these items and some of them are even able to train other students. Initially I came just for the skill, but eventually SD became my family, became my home. I came to learn a lot. It came to build my character actually. And uh, 
I specialize in making of Soviet holders, toothbrush holders. There's also jewelry boxes like this one. Currently, I'm still mentoring the rest, my younger brothers over here. And uh, out there, it's of great economic value. My parents who have given me also support. I've, I've learned a lot from this work, from this group, about the beadwork, even being creative and making different patterns and even make different patterns of the jewelry box and even the toothbrush holder, the servant holders and the key holders. We have done some vegetable farm, farming down there and that vegetable that we harvest, we supplement whatever the school has. If it doesn't do well, we are using it to feed the pottery. So we have some chicken down here. The children are actively involved in feeding the chicken and uh, with the commercial feeds and even pick the vegetables that the kitchen does not want to feed the chicken. We have also done fish farming. Uh, once in a while we have harvested the fish in the school and we have made a delicacy for the teachers and of course the members of the ESD club. And because of the capacity of the pod, we have not been able to do a lot of stocking of fish in the pod. So we are only able to do some bit for display so that you create an appetite for the children to go and impact the community where they're coming from. We could not imagine that children could be, able, could be able even to make clothes. We have seen them making scarves to wear during this cold weather. The Muslim women, during their festivities, they do hina decorations on their, on their hands. You will see them at work. ESD has actually impacted our own children and it has become contagious even among other children because everyone wants to join ESD. Because much as uh, we are doing education, we have the skills that our children want to be imparted with in order to enhance entrepreneurship later in life. We are taught in ESD that we should have peace even amongst ourselves. In ESD, we are taught that Peace is very important. We cannot create this, the beautiful things that we create with violence. Our device is made up from locally assembled materials. Unlike other respirators in the market, homemade respirator has diversified uses ranging from medical, agricultural, and industrial uses. Imagine any place, any time, anywhere. Our device can be used by medical personnel, healthy workers, social officers, farmers, constructing engineers to protect them against polluted and contaminated air. Our device can be used as an aesthetic inhaler, not forgetting that it is simple and portable. We need to plant more tree because you know the trees are very useful. They are the ones who attract trains and also prevent soil erosion from occurring in our places. So people, my fellow people, don't like cutting down trees because trees are very important. There is no planet B, let's protect our environment. Climate education is our right. Do not cut trees. We are students from Mololua Primary School. Our message is, if you cut one tree, plant two.